grabbing a woman by the throat, pushing, even threatening to kill a bouncer. Those are just some of the allegations made against Sabres forward Evander Kane. It's a story you'll see only on 7 tonight. All of these explicit details coming to light in court documents obtained by 7 Eyewitness News less than a week after Kane was charged with non-criminal harassment and criminal trespassing. We are getting a better idea of what at least four people say led up to those charges. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is taking a closer look into this case. He grabbed my neck with both hands and pulled me close. It was like I couldn't breathe. It hurt. That was just one memory from the night of June 24th, as told by one of Evander Kane's female accusers inside the Bottoms Up bar. According to these court documents obtained by 7 Eyewitness News, the woman had told Kane she wasn't going home with him when he got hostile. She says, quote, when I told him no, he went off. Around the same time, another complainant says she too saw Kane in the hallway and gave him a hug. When she says Kane grabbed her by the throat, she says, quote, he squeezed me pretty hard. I lost my breath for a second. I went into the bathroom and my neck was red. In this document, a third girl says Kane grabbed her hair so hard he, quote, pulled my whole head. It hurt a lot. A bouncer at the bar that night recounts he received a text message from the DJ saying Kane grabbed a girl by the throat. The text said, quote, Kane's gotta go now. The bouncer says he approached Kane asking him to leave when Kane said, quote, I'm gonna do you a favor and pretend I didn't hear you. The bouncer says he once again asked the Sabres player to leave, recounting, quote, he pushed me against the register and he was grabbed by me and another security guard. We took him out from behind the bar. He resisted us all the way to the middle of the dance floor. He broke free and pushed me again. He said he'd kill me. Then one of the accusers says Kane went up to her again. She says, quote, I was scared and wanted to get away. He had my wrist so hard I couldn't get away. I wanted to. I'm scared of him. If I see him, I'll be scared. The attorney representing Kane says he has seen these allegations and tells 7 Eyewitness News he disagrees with them completely. His client maintains he did nothing wrong and says he will be pleading not guilty in court on Monday. Reporting in the studio tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Hannah.